All right, in this video, let's explore the differences between the ampersand include the include command and yield command that we see here. Well, typically when you define your page layout in Laravel, you'll have this file which is inside the layouts folder. It it can be either called app.blade.php or master.blade.php. The name is um, optional. So, but very important, you should have .blade.php and whatever comes first doesn't really matter as long it's uh, as long as you uh, use the Laravel naming conventions. So here, as we can see, this is a typical uh, website layout. As you can see, it has this header dot header f uh, part of this web page, and we also have the um, the inner area of our website, which consists of sidebar and content, and but we also have this footer area and if you notice we have include command used frequently here and uh, the question is what's the difference between the include and yield command so let me show you an example here we have all of these files that we include here we have these page layouts defined uh, right next to this to this file which is footer.blade.php, header.blade.php, and sidebar. So uh, everything that we include here, we typically use include command when we include files that typically doesn't change. So as we know, uh, header usually usually doesn't change. The same goes with the footer and sidebar. But the usually the one area that typically changes re depending on the currently uh, rendered web web page is the content area so uh, let's now go back to this file where we include this file now also remember that this command that we use extends is very important this command takes care of loading this file which is responsible for loading the page layout files as we defined here so let's switch back to the welcome.page.php welcome.blade.php excuse me so uh, you can name this file again whatever you want as long as it uh, follows the dot blade.php so uh, you first use this command and then this one so if you specify that you after the command yield if uh, the name of the file is content now this page gets loaded because when we define this section we use the content so this is how we yield remember again you use include command when you include files that typically doesn't change and you use the yield command for the areas that typically change that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this video don't forget don't forget subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you learned something new like this video and ask questions if you have in the comment section below and i'll see you i'll see you i'll see you